All right, so I'm in MC Dev right now. Um, and then what we do is we, for Smart Witness, we've got two cameras set up. Um, these two guys here. So in the accordion, uh, we have Smart Witness camera Dave, and then Smart Witness Cam, and this is at the Smart Witness office in Schaumburg. Um, so, you know, the, the camera itself, the, the, the device itself is a fully functional telematics device. So it gives us lat and long, um, it gives us speed and, uh, um, you know, everything that a telematics device would give us. So, and then it has, you know, the camera that's facing out the front and then a camera that it can have a second camera that's facing the driver. So if I ran history trail on this particular asset, so you'll see, for example, um, this was my history trail for all of yesterday. So. History Trail is the same, you know, um, you can play the History Trail. By the way, we added a newer animation. When the green goes over the green, it's a little harder to see, so we added that larger blue icon. Um, so yesterday, um, if we scroll through this, you can see right here I had a camera event. All camera events now are highlighted in purple, so you can see here on our on our um, legend, uh, camera is purple. So uh, any camera events will be purple. And then whenever there's a camera event, you'll see this little camera icon. And in this case, I also set up an alert for any camera events. And that's why you get this. Um, this was the alert that went out. So this alert can be emailed or SMS as well. Uh, but this particular history trail event both had a camera event and an alert associated with it. So just like normal history trail stuff, I can I can zoom in, zoom out. Uh, I can go into Street View. So this is coming down Neighbor Boulevard here. Um, and then of course I have this is what's new. We have a new camera button here. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. So it pulls open our, what we're calling our media player. So um, the way that we've got Smart Witness configured is, um, you know, to, to reduce bandwidth over the cellular airwaves. Um, all the events, all the shock, harsh acceleration, harsh braking, they're just going to send images. And that's what you're looking at here. So we've stitched together 12 images to kind of simulate video. Um, so here's the front camera and here's the rear camera. Um, typically this rear camera would be pointing more at the driver, but I've got mine just hanging up on the sunglasses thing. Um, and then we show the map here so you can kind of follow along. This is where I was going, cruising down Naval Boulevard. Um, so it's stitched together these 12 images. Um, Images, of course, being much more uh, lightweight than actual video, video and audio. Um, so if, uh, if, if drivers are accelerating, braking, making harsh maneuvers, um, the default is going to be you're going to get these camera events and then it's going to show these images. Okay. Um, now, if the images aren't enough and you want to see more, uh, you can request the video. Um, so what this is going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just click this. Mind you, it's doing all this over the cellular airwaves. Um, so it takes about a minute or so to do this. And so you can see here, video is available, refresh to view. So it finally got back the MP4 files. So now it says success. Go ahead and hit refresh. So now I actually have the uh, video footage. And you... I think you can, if you guys can hear that too, uh, there's audio as well. Okay, so there's our 20 seconds video. So we had both the, you know, the front camera and the rear camera. You can play, 
you know, you've got all the normal video controls. You can stop, pause, all that good stuff. You can adjust the volume. You could expand uh, that guy. Go ahead and escape. Or you could blow up, you know, the passenger one and just hit play on this one. By the way, it was muted. Um, and then you could switch back and forth. So if you wanted to look at the images, with the images you get, um, it's kind of a play-by-play. -play. We, we give it a speed on each image. So we've got the little speedometer down here. And then you can also follow along on the map. Whereas the video, it's just it's just raw video. If I wanted to filter on just camera events, I could also do that here. So if I just choose camera, it only shows the camera events. Okay, so that was for a particular asset. So I, I you know, I, I did the history trail on a single asset and I was able to view the video. So if I wanted to view the video for all my fleet, uh, you know, if I want to just check up on any video that's happening across the board, as an admin, I can come into here and go into camera events. So this is a new admin camera events. This is a new option uh, for admins. Okay, so the default, so you get this list of camera events. Um, it defaults to the last 24 hours. So we haven't had any video in the last 24 hours. So here, now we got a whole list, right? We have actually 65 entries. Um, so this list is just like any of our other lists. You can filter by date, you can filter by asset. So if I just wanted uh, the smart witness cam. Export data, if you wanted to show them all and you could export all this data. So you get the same, uh, this popped up in the other window here. Uh, and refresh just pulls in any, any new video. So from an admin's perspective, this is how I can view all the different camera events that happen across the fleet. The other thing that you can do here is you can edit some of this data, right? So I can come in here and um, this was, which video was this? This was me just driving to work, right? Pretty boring. I got the bag in the back seat. Um, so if I wanted to, I could just edit this. Uh, there's a couple things here. There's these flags. So if I wanted to flag this piece of video as something important, um, I could make this guy a red flag, right? And I could add some notes to the video. I could say, uh, you know, Dave driving with bag and back seat. Okay. But anyway, so that'll add some notes here. So when I, uh, if I, well, the last 30 days and then I could sort for example on the flag um, you can see only one of them is flagged as red and here you can see my notes um, you can also set the flags right from right from the list view here so if I know uh, this one I can flag as green etc anyway then when I come in here I can sort them and find them when you're on a particular asset, um, let's pull him up and we can hit dashboard. So this is the normal dashboard, right? You get all your other sensors and data, uh, analytics, any alerts, and I'll get to alerts in a second, but yeah, here's that smart witness cam alert, uh, maintenance, and of course camera. So this is the new tab. So um, the dashboard also shows camera events for this particular asset. Its default is week to date. So you can see here we had the Dave driving with bag and back seat. So you can kick off the video from the dashboard. Okay. Um, so um, we can also set up alerts. So if we go to manage alerts, I'm going to add a new alert here, and I could call this um, uh, camera alerts. Camera alerts. One, two, three. Okay, so the alert type here, so you'll get a new selection here that says Smart Witness Camera Alert. So uh, with our alerts, it's, it just processes like a normal alert. You choose the alert type, and then you can choose individual assets. 
groups or the entire company. Um, in this case, only certain assets uh, have cameras. So I would want to select uh, our Smart Witness Cam Dave and like the Smart Witness Cam. And then same thing, alert schedule, subject, content. And if you wanted to, you could set the severity level. And then you also have the option to uh, either send this via email, SMS, or neither, and just trigger the alert event. I think that's about it. And it, since it's a normal telematics device, it um, it's just like everything else. You can come in here in the grid, and view this guy, um, see its last report. Just like um, you could run a report for, like for example, an activity detail report on any one of these assets. Detail. I'll choose my smart witness cam, Dave, and uh, let's do yesterday. Run report. So here's the normal uh, device was online and it was running. I was in motion. Then I hit the panic button. In motion, running, etc. There's three pages of data here, and then uh, then it went offline.